Okay, in the last video, we asked ourselves, what is the dot product? Okay, in this video, um, we're going to ask ourselves, uh, why on earth you'd want to do something like that? Okay, and the reason is quite simple. Okay, um, being that the dot product is defined in such a manner, um, this allows us to do a couple other things. Now, we also, we already learned in the last video that if the dot product is zero, the angle between the two vectors is also zero. Or that, no, it's not. It's uh, 90 degrees. They're orthogonal. Okay, so let's, um, so that basically tells us the angle between the uh, two vectors, and it also it tells us they're perpendicular. But if we go ahead and if we kind of rearrange this and solve for uh, one another, we find out that the dot product of two vectors and divided it divided by the magnitude of each one um, gives us cosine theta. Okay, so likewise. Um, the inverse cosine of V dot W will give us the exact measure of, of the angle right there, okay? So let's, uh, let's check this something out right here. Let's take vector V, and I'm going to look at an example right here in my book. I'm going to call vector V... I'm going to say that that is negative 3, 5. Uh, they give me a two-dimensional vector. And I'm going to go, we're going to make it in three space, aren't we? Okay, and let's see, W, let's make that guy um, 6, negative 2, and let's just make it regular too. Okay, so if, obviously, let's, uh, let's go ahead and first let's compute the dot product. Okay, so... V dot W is going to be equal to negative 3 times 6, which is negative 18, plus negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10, plus regular 2. Okay, so it looks like we got negative 28 plus 2, negative 26. Okay, right there. And... What's the magnitude? That's um, 9 plus 25 plus 1 equals square root of 35. Let's switch our colors right here. And magnitude of W, um, that looks like 36 plus 4 plus 4 which equals square root of what? 44? Okay, okay, so given this information, negative 26 divided by square root of 35, square root of 44, is equal to cosine theta. Okay, so that tells us, you know, that, that tells us some stuff. I mean, that we already knew, really, about the triangle, but let's find some stuff we didn't already know. Okay, let's go inverse cosine of negative 26 over, what is this, uh, square root, I'm just going to do my calculator, root of 35, square root of 44, and we'll call it 39.2. Okay, well I guess I could have just typed it in that way, oh well. Negative 26 divided by 39.2. So it looks like theta in this case is going to be equal to eh, approximately 132 degrees. Okay, so uh, now, now we can use a dot product not only to find perpendicular vectors, we can also find out what the angle is between those vectors, okay? All right, what now probably, and that's, that's, that's cool and all, but I think this one's probably, um, this is gonna be your go-to guy, especially if you are a physics student, okay? Well, here's vector W, or V, and here's vector W, <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I got a little triangle right here. Yeah, it'll probably be a theta involved. Okay. All right, so based on everything we know so far, um, well, let's just write the magnitude of this, okay? It's right there, magnitude of V. Um, this distance right here, quiz from trigonometry. Um, if I drew a circle here, okay, say this is an arc of a circle, then this would be its radius, wouldn't it? So this measurement right here would be the radius times sine theta, which in this case happens to be vector V sine theta, okay? And then this distance right here, well, what's that? That is vector V cosine theta, okay? Now, um, we want to ask ourselves, what if, let's say I was applying, like, you know, a, a V amount of force in this, in, in this direction, okay? You know, let, let's say, let's say this thing was, you know, I don't know, I mean, whatever. We'll, we'll go into it later, but let's say, let, we can project the, the magnitude of V in the direction of W, okay? So let's just revert right back to our, our same uh, little dot product thing right there. Okay, so here's dot product again, okay? So what if I wanted, what if I wanted to find out what this was, what, what this was gonna be, okay? Well, abs or the magnitude of vector V times cosine of theta, well, if I just solve for W, I'm gonna end up with that, aren't I? Okay, so it turns out that cosine theta is equal to the dot product divided by the magnitude of the other one, okay? And sometimes they, they might label that as, they might label it a little, a little differently. Sometimes they will write, note the notation might be projection of V onto W. I keep writing my Vs weird like that, I don't know why. It's like a twitching habit or something. Okay, so that, that's kind of an example of something like that. So let's, um, well, I don't know if I have time to make an example of it, but you know, you know how to compute the dot product. We know how to compute magnitude. Um, so, you know, the examples, I, I mean, I don't really need to do a whole lot of examples of these because I'm, I'm, I'm sure, you know, you, there's tons of them in your book. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of explaining some of this stuff. Um, so this is probably your most useful application of the dot product, okay? And along with, you know, finding the angle. Well, here, let's make a little note here. So at the end of the day, uh, that's yucky. Okay, so dot product. Okay, one, okay? If it equals zero, then V is perpendicular to, you know, W. Number two, um, you know, we, we can use it to find angles. And three, we can apply, um, you know, we can apply, you know, different vectors. Okay, that is our kind of like our Jerry Springer final thought. All right, so I'm gonna leave it to you guys to carry out these operations and what's next? It looks like um, cross product is probably coming up. Yeah, cross product. So I will see you guys then.